Hey, good morning. We are here in Arches National Park and today we are going to be checking out Erdina Park. And that is an off-road destination, a little bit out of the way. Quite a rough four-wheel drive road, although not very long off the main park road. So we are going to be heading right over to that huge outcropping of rocks in the background. And that's where we're going to be exploring a couple of beautiful arches, including Leaping Arch, as well as Whale's Eye, and an incredible maze akin to the Fiery Furnace. So I'm looking forward to checking that out. Should be some cool vistas. So hopefully you can join me. We'll see you there. There she blows. Okay, if you've got a four wheel drive, Whale's Eye is a piece of cake. Very cool arch too. So that's that unique shape. It truly looks like the retina of a whale's eye seem to come it's just as beautiful although it does look a little exciting especially with kind of damp morning air getting down there will be fun So we have just circled around the fin behind us as we left the whale's eye. So that's a story, what we're up to right now. And now we're going to a new part of the Air Demon Park. And, uh, I've got some cool exploration to do here. The next deal will be Leaping Arch. That's somewhere up this way and kind of tough to get to and see, but we're gonna do our best. I have circled around the head of the main Whale Canyon. That's it right in behind me. I just went across that bridge over there. And then it's this super unlikely little ramp. So cool. I have hit a dead end, as you can see. So I won't be continuing on this fin for sure, but I know just a couple fins that way, I am going to be finding the leaping arch. So I'm still glad I came out here because this is neat, neat, neat. But just to give you a little idea, these fins are crazy. Reminiscent of the fiery furnace, I would say. Keep looking. See a leaping arch, I hope. And there's Leaping Arch. So, really excited. Really fun adventure. Not that difficult, but you gotta be good with your route finding, working through all these fins, and having a little faith. 
Erdina Park is an unknown treasure for sure. Especially if you're good with a little scrambling and route finding and uncertainty, because there'll be a little of that for sure. And hopefully you're enjoying the trip. Let's go see some more. Okay, well we are on to the next little adventure. We're gonna try to get onto this giant like island in the middle of the park. And then it has all these crazy fingers sticking off that are comprised of a bunch of like nubbly little towers. So we're doing that. But I gotta say, that was pretty scary climbing around there and it was easy climbing. But the pretty scary part was really the residue of sand that the rain left. And it hasn't rained for over 36 hours, but still this fine residue all over some of the rock and the traction goes way down. So be aware, be careful if you try to get out there. I would definitely say that's experience only, really cool. And then this is what I'm seeing ahead. And oh my God, what a great day. to explore really amazing and that's all punctuated by just serious drop-offs like that so wow 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 so beautiful said I was working my way out this line of fingers and finally the fingers have separated enough for me not to make it I did do one little class 5 section and, and cross something like that just smaller but I was hoping to get way out there you can see back behind me but this is as far as it goes I am happy seeing all this cool stuff and not getting trapped on the finger of death so we are gonna count our blessings there Boy, really nice place. Erdina Park, Fingers of Death. So, so far none of this have I really explored. There is a place I have explored here in the past, and that's kind of over here, kind of toward the park road. And I think we might just try to take that back, but um, again, nothing's really that certain out here because it is really convoluted and tricky, but we can at least go back the way we came. See you there. Super peculiar. I don't know what this is. It's all over the place. It's like little flowers. I'm going through a really sensitive area right now. And it's really important to just step on the plain dirt when you have to. But even better is just to step on the slick rock. And definitely not on the cryptographic soil. Because there's all kinds of cool stuff. And no need to mess it up. It was so cool finding it totally pristine like this. The bottom is impassable, I'm pretty sure. The top looks great though. I was on my way back and 
just got sucked into this. It looks so cool. There's this crazy toboggan sled like canyon that I'm gonna explore a little. And it's got some steep walls. There it is. But I think if I use this boulder, it shouldn't be that big a deal to get down in there. So I'm gonna do one more little adventure explore. So Road Trip Ryan does have a little trip here and it's a gnarly traverse he recommends only for climbers. And it's right here underneath me. I guess that's the ledge and it looks really gnarly. But I got no way to get down there. I was thinking about trying, but I don't really see that happening. Oh boy. That's okay. Works really good. Thought I'd wait out the rain and enjoy the view. Okay, well we've made it back to basically the front. I did just see my motorcycle. Maybe you recognize that crazy rock behind me. We're gonna do one last little exploration of what Road Trip Ryan calls Whale Canyon. And I don't know if that's the real name or not, but it is cool. This this I've actually seen before and it's not very treacherous and that's key because that rain did make things slippery, although it's drying quick. That said, there probably will be another storm coming and slapping me around. So, whoo, there's that. And there's the storm that's gonna get me. You can see it's falling out out there but non-technical route, so I'll take one for the team. We're about to lose the light and get the rain. So that's so sort of a shitter. Alrighty, well that was the quick stroll along the Whale Canyon. And now we're just gonna get out of here. We're actually cutting through this rocky kind of wall. And we're gonna just slip through that little notch. Let's just get right out of it right here. Probably class three going up. I did this little down climb right here, didn't shoot it. It's kind of hard, but you can just kind of jump. So be warned, if you come straight toward the arch, you're gonna have to deal with it. So you might not want to, but it's not bad if you're a climber, otherwise it's bad. All right, well, we are back to the eye of the whale and it is looking cool as ever, especially with this light. Up we go. Sweet. I have the whale. All right, as we pass through, it is a shortcut if you can make it through right back to the parking area. And if you look real close, you can even see my bike there. And it feels like spring, even though it's only mid January. All right, there she blows. Just a short ride back to the Arches Main Road. <laughs> 